Okay, I'm going to measure the actual ultraviolet levels for UVA, UVB, and UVC. Uh, it's October 15th, 2015, and I'm going to use my own personal meters here. Um, a big assortment. And uh, first, let me just uh, say, U UVA is fairly harmless. UVB causes cancer and kills things, uh, destroys plants and all that, and insects. But UVC is the one that just kills, it shakes DNA apart immediately. So uh, first we'll look at UVA and UVB in the ratio. Uh, these are both uh, pretty well calibrated meters. And the one on the left measures total UVA and B. The one on the right measures UVB only. So uh, if I tilt it towards the sun, in mid-October, the sun's already very low, and we got a chemtrail day going, so... Uh, but there's a break between the chemtrails, so... We've got a 5.0 total, and a 0.34 for UVB. And if you work this ratio out, I think it's around 4 to 5 percent. Historically, this ratio has been about 0.6 percent. So that's an extremely high reading. Uh, next, we're going to use this uh, spectral line with a 365 nanometer probe, which is UVA. <coughs> and it's easy to read. The only ones I got that's easy to read. And we're going to see about, okay, we see a 3.0 milliwatt per centimeter squared. Three so like 3.0. If I can hold it just right. All right, two point. There it goes. Three point zero. That's UVA. UVB. This probe is a three hundred nanometer probe, so that's UVB. And this is dangerous UV. And what do we get here? We get a 0.7. Quite solid. 0.7. So 0.7 divided by 3.0 gives you your UVB to UVA ratio. Here's another lab quality uh, meter. It's an OLEC Accumeter. I'm going to plug in a UVAB probe. And you can see right here that UVA 380 to 420 nanometer. UVB 340 to 380 nanometer. That's not quite industry standard, but apparently that's what these sensors are picking up. So, we should be able to see if I can get this held just right. That's better. Wow, that's high. 1.8 UVB, 4.07 UVC. Okay, so 1.8 divided by 4.25, there's your UVB to UVA ratio. I think that's around 40%. And I have a pair of National Biological, it's a UVA meter. I'll turn this on, and we'll just have a look here. And again, it's hard to aim it just perfect, but if I do, Get her up around. It's so hazy today. Call it UVA. I'm going to call it 4.5. 4.5 milliwatt per centimeter squared. Now here's the same manufacturer, UVB meter. And we're on the 0.1 scale, on the bottom scale. This is a narrow, narrow band probe, so we're not picking up, oh, we're only picking up UVB. And what do we get? We get, looks like about uh, 0.17. Normally it's 0.19 or 2 .2, but because of the haze and low angle. So calculate the ratio of 
that UVB to UVA. And, uh, just for reference, this is uh, total UV A and B. So if we just look at the total, we get about uh, Looks like about 9.4. This was hitting 10 just a few minutes ago, so there is a haze up there. But, you know, each one of these has a slightly different band pass. That's why you see different power levels. But that was total at 10. Okay, so that's, that's proof that the UVA, sorry, UVB to UVA is very, very high. Now, we're going to look at UVC. This is, this should be absolutely zero. Now, this is Spectral Line DM254N, and it's a, designed to measure the power of germicidal lamps, and yet there's enough UVC for this to pick it up. We're, we're looking at microwatts here. I'm going to hold this, hopefully at the right angle. Try and read these numbers. So I'm seeing a three, five, 37, 38, 400, 402, 401. Okay, so that's 400 microwatts per centimeter squared of UVC. 400. Now this is a, uh, a meter for a water purification system, industrial type. And this is a UVC narrowband sensor. Now these are designed to monitor the ultraviolet lamp. So if it ever goes bad, you, you know and you don't drink water with bacteria. So I have tested this. It does not respond to visible light. does not respond to infrared. does not respond to UVB. But aim it to the sun, and boy, does it respond. Okay. This is not calibrated. This is a relative, uh, a relative uh, measurement only. But this should not respond like this at all uh, unless there's UVC out here. I have to find some way to calibrate that thing someday. Okay. I think this is the last meter I'm going to show here. And this is the uh, Black Ray model J225. And this is the sensor. And it, uh, this is a times five attenuator, otherwise it would go over the top. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at both infrared and ultraviolet. So let me see if I can aim it. We'll see if, how high we can get it. It's, it's quite low, actually. But, oh, I've lost it. Darn it. Anyway, let me try it one more time. What we're looking for is the highest peak reading that will hold. Okay, there we go. Look at there, 44. 44. That's microwatts times 100. Okay. Now I put the uh, filter on. This filter doesn't block infrared, but it blocks the ultraviolet. So now we're looking at only infrared. And I gotta try and aim it again. And what are we gonna see? We're seeing about a 41. I see a 41. Okay, so the ultraviolet was the 44 minus the 41. So that's three. 44. Minus 41 is 3, uh, and that's the UVC component. Uh, but that's times 100, so we have to say that's 300 microwatts of UVC. But I have the times 5 attenuator here, so we have to take 300 microwatts times 5 is 1.5 milliwatts of UVC for that particular meter. So one says 0.4, one detects it 
uh, that, there, that it's there, and the other one is very, very crude measurement saying 1.5 milliwatt per centimeter squared, which it should be zero. It should be just plain zero, and it's not, okay? It's the uh, chemtrails and the ionospheric heaters that are disrupting the ozone layer and rapidly killing our planet. Uh, I hope other people will do a lot more measurements like this in the future because nothing beats first-hand measurements, first-hand proof. You know, go out there and do something. And watch my video, Proof of Hurricane Control, Bahamas, Ber Bermuda. That explains why the oceans are dying so rapidly. And this video is part two to that, to show that we do have deadly ultraviolet coming down in very large quantities. Okay, thanks for watching.